Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI, continuing our run with uh, a Manator here, and having some issues with Congo, for sure. I was really hoping to try and get this city. I thought we could with the Bombards coming in here, uh, but him sneaking his pike and shot in there made it, again, quite impossible. We're about to get some field cannons here in, you know, a little bit of time, but uh, probably too little too late. Really just need to get this bike and shot out of here, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm kind of trying to leave one of these crossbowmen here as a sacrificial pawn so he'd move it out of there, but he's not taking the bait. Why has he got to be so smart? They're not usually this smart. Um, a promotion. Don't really need it at this point. Um, but when I want, I will take it, I guess. That's that's the last one we need. The suppression, I mean, that's the uh, zone of control. I don't really care about that much, if at all. All right. Let's get all you guys, these little guys, doing whatever shots you can do. Every little bit helps. Guess we'll take a shot with you, because you're very close to a promotion. Except you only get two XP for shooting these guys. Guess we'll take it with you. Or we won't take it with you. We'll take it with you. Just trying to avoid that, but we'll do that. And then we'll upgrade to you right away before I don't get an opportunity to upgrade you anymore. <laughs> um, actually, it's going to make you tougher against the city attacks. Kind of funny. Um... And we'll take your promotion. I mean, there's really no reason not to, because what else are we going to do with you? Your shots aren't really doing that much. we got to get the Bombards back into the mix. Really hoping to get this guy upgraded by now. Honestly, I might move him over here and take his shots here until, until he can get upgraded, and then move him into the city. I just feel like without him being upgraded, it just doesn't help us at all. All right, move on to Congo. Um, we're going to move Pingala back up to there, even though Pingala is not really good up here. We just, we need to get as much as we can here. And in one turn, we've got to flip away from, uh, probably not the gold one. We'll flip away from the resource one because we don't need resources for upgrading these guys uh, to either crossbowmen or field, uh, field cannons. No, we don't. Okay, so yeah, we're good on that. We can, uh, we can just upgrade our range units without the resource deduction. I mean... I guess we can get an aqueduct at some point. You can get the Huey, Huey, Dewey, Louie out uh, quite a bit sooner. And we do have, you know, let's look at this trio of lakes right here. It's actually kind of cool. Um, we do have three lakes in a row. That would give this city some good production. It's not a terrible idea just to have you just sit back there and just do a thing. Why not? It's going to give all of our other lakes. I mean, we may not... Oh, I did that wrong. I hit the wrong button. I mean, that's okay to put that down, because I think we were probably going to put that down at some, some point. I don't know why I had that clicked. Uh, we'll put you over here, though. We're going to work on you first. Upper production focus you. It's not going to matter that much. 34 turns is a lot of turns to be doing nothing else. But not a lot else I needed to do right this second. I don't know why I thought sheep was going to be um, production. But uh, food is mostly okay if we can get our food situation fixed again after that. And I'm going to switch back over to just doing the aqueduct right away. I mean, we're setting up a lot of stuff for the future. A future that we are a ways away from at the moment, but hopefully we get there. At least you're losing less loyalty now, but man, this is, this is tough. We need to get one of these archers back over here once we get the loyalty thing switched back over. Got more science than Congo now. 
but he's already advanced enough that it, it's painful. And we're spending a lot of time dealing with this. I say that, what else are we going to be doing with all these units? I mean, the units themselves are not wasting us time. We're still building infrastructure back here, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. Significant blizzard. A good navy is not a provocation to war. All right, changing some policies. We are going to drop the discount to resources. We are going to take the loyalty. Is that all we're going to do right now? I mean, there's so many other good things that I want to pick up, but... just don't feel like we can right now. And we've got a little bit of money coming in. We don't have a lot. And we're actually going to take a while before we can get another upgrade, to be fair. But, so maybe that discount is not really helping us that much. We'll take Tortoise, because you are going to be getting in here, potentially dealing with some stuff. we got to get you guys all healed back up. Oh, you're actually fine now, aren't you? Uh, even before I moved you in there, I think you're fine. But we'll, we'll leave you back there for now, because it doesn't matter. You are, I mean, you're losing again. Once we repair that, it'll help a little bit. Not a lot. I think we start to pillaging some things. I should have done this sooner, to be fair, but definitely think we pillage this because that gives me some more money for other things. I really need you to not die, my friend. Hello. Nice of you to come over here and join us. I'm going to move you back. I don't mind sacrificing you, but in this case, sacrificing you would be just the city shot and the crossbowman. And otherwise, you would not take any damage. So, that sacrifice is not the kind I'm looking for. I will pillage this, though. With you. Okay, taking top pot shots here. Where we can. It does basically nothing, but, you know... XP, I guess. I mean, what else are we going to do? Nothing else for us to do right now. You are in the double shot rate spot. Which makes it not super great. Really think Aztec is about to declare on me, though. Like, any turn now... I mean, will he piece me out now? Is there even a chance? I'm just not willing. I, I think it's because of the emergency. Okay, one more turn. If we can piece him out next turn, we will. I think we've just got to try and reestablish. I, I don't think we can deal with this right now without more oomph behind us. If it was at 57, I'd still keep it up because obviously it'd almost be dead by now. But at 75, there's just we don't have enough oomph behind us. Gotta get nationalism. That's gonna help us get <laughs> that extra power that I'm talking about. Let's get you a mine up here. That's gonna be okay. Um, we definitely want to get some zones here. Um, Fortunately, Holy Site for you is not going to help. Um, all the rivers are too far away. Campus still helps a little bit. And actually, plus two is not bad. Yeah, we'll do that. That's actually really good. Well, it's not really good. It's good enough to go ahead and do it. <laughs> That's kind of what I meant. Um, you already got a commercial hub. Otherwise, a harbor would not be a terrible idea.
Don't really need an aqueduct. You got plenty of housing. Maybe an entertainment complex. Just get some more something down here to this section of the of the world. Doesn't really matter which one of these we put it on. I guess we'll um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Either one of you gets to Kinshasa. So uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would be eight from here, nine from there. That's fine. Uh, six initially. If we can get the, th I'm thinking nine because I'm always thinking about getting the thing that has nine. We don't have that, so never mind. I need to go six. <laughs> I don't know why. I just automatically assume I have that because I always go for it. It's not available today. <laughs> Stop being used to having it. <laughs> uh, so six, which would be these are all too far away. Three, four, five. Uh, it, I can is close enough to either one of these. I, th I will just put it here. I don't think it really matters at the end of the day. All right, next turn, we try and piece them out and see if that helps us out. Uh, I will take your upgrade. I mean, I would like to get to field cannons in a minute and maybe, maybe I should hold off on field to wait for field cannons. Probably the smarter move. I mean, I guess I'm okay with you being a farm over here. Um, same thing. Do I want to farm here? I don't think I'm, am I going to put anything else there? I mean, I want this at some point, but, uh, and actually I guess right now is not a bad time to get it. It's 120 gold. I don't really want to spend the gold on that. Not really. I'd like to just grow there. I'll put the farm there though. I think that's okay. Okay. Um, Next turn, we try and piece them out. What do we get if we win this? I mean, we've had 92 combat strength this whole time, which is really bad. Oh, the target gains loyalty in the target city. That's why I've been having so much loyalty over there. I wasn't paying attention to that. Um... I get two combat strength on attacking member unit with a city strike, and I get some diplomatic favor, which is going to go away very quickly, so I'll probably want to sell all that diplomatic favor as quickly as I have it. Of course, I don't have anybody to sell it to right now. Oh, he did kill me. He actually made the city weaker all of a sudden by moving his crossbowman in there instead of the, uh, the um, pike and shot. But still probably not weak enough to matter. Yeah, there's no way. I do want to take the shot because I think that might give me just enough XP to get a promotion, which is a big deal. Yep. That's a big promotion. Um, Now, the emergency is done, although it's not officially done, is it? Is it one more turn? Do I have to wait one more turn for this stupid thing? think so. I think we fall back with his crossbowman in there. Fall back, live to fight another day. We finally have some envoys. Man, we haven't had these in a while. We can get Granada on our side. 
We're actually getting some temples, so Chinguiri wouldn't be bad either. I might just do three there and then three here. Get a little bit of production, some faith, things like that. Goodness. <laughs> it's been hard. I didn't think Congo would be this hard. It's not even so much that Congo's hard. Uh, when does he get his unique unit? He's not even got his unique unit yet, right? Uh, Congo. It's what a... Oh, no, he already got it. Never mind. How have I not seen any of these? Did we just... We went to war early, and then we left, and then we came back. We just never saw any. He never Did he just never build any? Okay. Fine by me. Alright, so if you're going to bring both our units... Oh, he must have one more in there still. I won! Where are the wieners? Okay. Um, we are going to do some damage here where we can because hashtag XP. Except for you. Take shells, please. Um... Oh, I can't hear. Oh, you can't hear either. That's that's a bummer. You can, though. Might as well kill what we can before we leave. Um, Yeah, this is bad. We're going to lose this city quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because Dark Age. I mean, we're out of the Dark Age, at least. Barely. Would love to get into the Heroic Age. And we are building quite a few districts, so maybe. Man. This is tough. Will you even piece me up? No? Okay. Well, I guess we're staying at war then. Fun times. I mean, this one now does 65 Bombard Street. They get to 65 Strength City. So it's pretty, pretty even there. It's just, it's all the loyalty that we're losing in the process that's going to just hurt us big time. I mean, I do, I've been ignoring the spies altogether. I mean, we probably should be getting spies at some point. Um, I mean, watch me. We're going to find out that somebody's like about to win a science victory or something crazy. Nah, we're good. <laughs> I wouldn't, I mean, I don't know. Somehow it would have surprised me in a weird way. Even as crazy as that would have been. Um, we need you to work on, got the aqueduct, we got the dam. Guess we need our industrial zone now. That is... Okay, I flipped that to you, but your industrial zone is that one. So I can flip this one back. And get your industrial zone there. And then we'll get Davidium's industrial zone over here. Once it grows to 10 pop, which is a ways away. But once it gets the housing, it'll help out quite a bit. Um, I mean, I do want the shrine. But if we're going to double down on this culture, just trying to get the culture going back up. Because honestly, armies and things like that are going to help out quite a bit. Let's get to the amphitheater. Although again, the more districts we put down, the more points we get. We'll get the amphitheater down though. Problem with these flipping back and forth over and over and over again is that um, they lose population every time, which makes it harder to keep them after that. I 
I mean, we can't get out of the war, so we're basically stuck in this war, no matter what we do. So we might as well try and come up with a way to continue our our advancement again, and maybe that's through some field cannons and things like that. There's a Plains Hills Woods tile that we can chop. Might as well. All right, we got to get these trade routes down here to the cities that need them. For example, Mabanza Congo. Try to help it grow, if at all possible. Now he wants peace. And he's going to give me a whole bunch of money for it. A whole bunch of money for it. Yeah, I think we take this. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of upgrades. Problem is... We still have a loyalty issue. Very, very, very major loyalty issue. Um, I mean, the occupation stuff's going to die down. The pressure is not, unless we get more pressure from us having more population. So, to offset it. All right, well, with all that wonderful gold, I mean, we're going to sit on it for a minute because we got the field cannons coming in here in a moment. Uh, I will do the Patati Archers if we run out of field cannons to upgrade, but for now we're, we're just going to hold off. I think I think Aztec's about to declare war on us. He might be able to take a city or do some damage to a city. Uh, we'll have some units to be able to go up there and, and deal with them because I, I, my crossbowmen will do some damage, especially if we get to the field cannons. If we get two more turns and get the field cannons, I'm not that worried about him other than the fact he's already behind our lines. I mean, I guess we can trade with you for a whole five seconds before you denounce me. Is this saying you're going to give me 49 just flat gold or spices? I mean, 49 gold is 49 gold. Okay. Oh, I need to sell off Diplo points if I can. So was that in the list of things that you would do? You would give me 364 gold for all my Diplo points. I mean, they're going to go away on their own. There's nothing I can do to stop it. The longer I wait, the less gold I can get because of the less there are. Now, this does help them out by getting them a bunch of Diplo points. But I need to get rid of them. They're going up. They're, they're dying. And now I've got a thousand gold to do some upgrades with, which does mean um, I feel a little bit better about doing some of these. And a couple of you units that are close to this setup. Probably just you two, because these two are just going to stay in there, I think. I think that's fine. All right. Well, 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 well. Once we get this enter entertainment complex, we can help our loyalty a little bit by running that, uh, that thing, my jigger. I'm going to move you to the top side to hopefully fend off against whatever craziness is going to go on up there. All right, trade route. Again, whatever is going to give us the most food, please try to get this city to get a little bit more population, which it's not going to because it's very angry with me right now. If we'd done that before the unrest, we would have been fine. But without with the unrest, there's nothing we can do. Man, literally nothing we can do here.
Is it plains tile? So we'll just do a lumber mill there. Plains Hills. You are sure. Just gonna chop out a little bit. All right, you cannot do any more districts. Um, let's go with a workshop for now. If I give you a governor, that would slow that down. I just realized I wasn't thinking about that. It wouldn't slow it down a lot, but it will slow it down. Um, the only governor we have that we can send over there is either Magnus, which actually wouldn't be bad because there's a lot of things we could chop over there. How would Napata be if we sent, well, he would, they would be fine. So we'll send Magnus over there. Uh, that does, oh, that's going to change the food situation. That's right. Well, then we'll, um, but again, if I move him and chop, I mean, I start getting some good stuff for Kinshasa here. It starts growing a bit more, and maybe we can save it through that. Save it through chopping. Sixteen Pop City is so hard to overcome, though. All these are just plains flat tiles, though. Not the best thing to chop. I think we'll just move Liang over there. It's not great. It's not great at all. At this point, we just got to be ready to take these cities back when they fall, I guess. We'll move this man at arms over to that side of things. Why is the production here so good? Two food, three production. I'm missing something, right? Like there's something, there's something obvious in front of me that I'm missing. Why, why are you in two food three production? Okay, I'm not gonna overthink it. Okay. Um. Anyway, one more turn on our field cannons. All right, well, we're going to cut in there. Uh, not not super happy with the way things are going, if I had to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, it's not super happy. But we'll see what we can do. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.